If you've ever watched Bob Ross or painted along with his old PBS show, you know how relaxing it can be to create art. It can even be therapeutic. An employee at a local assisted living home has become a sort of Bob Ross for people in memory care, not just in North Dakota, but all over the country. Let's meet her in this week's Someone You Should Know. 91-year-old Bobby Green isn't just painting, she's activating her mind, thanks to the help of Whitney Roshensky. It's just I have a love of art, and I guess I didn't realize that it would be this big. She's talking about her program, Fragrance in Frames. It's meant to boost the mood and the well-being of people living with dementia by combining the joy of painting with essential oils. You try to smell that one. Yeah. Do you smell that one? Yes. Lemon can bring back... I've heard people say, oh, mom was cleaning, you know, that lemony smell, or Bobby made that sour lemon face. Sour, right? Yes. Rushensky launched Fragrance in Frames in 2017. She says the program has been found to decrease negative behaviors and lower the use of mind-altering medication for people in memory care. Bobby's husband, Dick, says he sees the difference. She has never really been an artist. And it's, it's, it's something that's really new. It's good because she uh, likes it and is relaxed, you know, and, and comfortable with, with the people teaching her. As for Whitney, her methods have earned her some big accolades, including an award from the International Council on Active Aging. My supervisor said, you better sit down, I have something to tell you. And you know, that's never good. And it's on a Friday afternoon and you're like, oh no. <laughs> so. I sat down, I'm like, what's going on? She goes, the program, it won. Like, I couldn't believe it. Now, Fragrance in Frames is being used in memory care units all over the country. And that's big, because Whitney says the union of art and oils can be life-changing. What does that look like to you? Yeah. Trees. Trees. Yeah. I'll say, remember that art we did? And usually in memory care, they always say, don't say remember. Don't say remember, but I'll say, do you remember the painting we did? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, and it's been months. So, I mean, it must have made some type of impact on them. That's why Whitney Ryshensky is someone you should know. Whitney doesn't just work with folks in memory care, by the way. She also teaches painting classes once a month for folks living in independent and assisted living at Touchmark. Oh, it looks like a great program. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Yeah, you could tell that Bobby was really enjoying herself. Mm -hmm. uh, she was relaxed from the moment she got in the room. Um, and, yeah, it's it just amazing because Whitney said she was only there for five months when this program kind of got off the ground. Now it's all over the nation. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really incredible. Great She story. should be very proud. Yeah. Thanks, Tim.